Hello Fall fam and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on those post notifications. Today I'm filming one of my most requested videos ever and it is my experience on the Nexplanon birth control, which I have in my arm right here. Um, my experience is that I've almost had it in for seven months and I'm literally on my way to go get it taken out. Thank goodness. <laughs> Explain more when I get home. I am back from my surgical procedure <laughs> and today I'm going to be talking about my entire experience with Nexplanon. So to keep this video moving, I have a couple different categories. First, what is Nexplanon? Why did I choose it? Pros, cons, my experience, why I got it taken out, and what I'm using for contraceptives now. This is kind of a personal video, but I know that a lot of people could benefit from knowing this information. We can all bond together. This is mostly for females, so if you're not a female, you can just skip this one. So, let's just go ahead and get to the video. So, what is Nexplanon? It is a form of contraceptive that keeps you from getting pregnant for three years. So it is a long-term birth control. Um, it's like a tiny little rod that goes in your arm, literally right here, and you could feel it the whole time I had it in. I could just feel where it was, I knew it was there, and I don't really know the science behind it, but basically it releases hormones into your body that stops you from being able to get fertilized and so you can't get pregnant. It is like 99.9% .9 effective I'm pretty sure and that's that. So why did I choose to get it? So whenever I was weighing my options I wanted something long term because I knew I wouldn't be able to take a pill like every single day. So basically my options were NuvaRing, IUD, implant, the depot shot and I just felt like it would be easiest if it was something I literally never had to worry about. So originally I was gonna go get the IUD which is a little plastic T-shaped thing that goes in your uterus. Painful, right? Everyone who I talked to said, do not get it. It is extremely painful to get in. And any video I watched was just like, pain getting it in, pain getting it out. So I just really didn't want to do that. And then that's when I found out about the arm implant, which seemed like the easiest thing. And I was like, why doesn't everyone have this? So I went ahead and decided I was gonna get the implant. It's actually called the Nexplanon. That's like the official name. So I made my appointment and I got it in. So what are the pros to the next one on? <laughs> well, first of all, how long have I had it? So I got it December 1st of 2019 and it is almost July 1st, so almost seven months. So I've had it in long enough to like know that I didn't want it anymore, so I got it taken out. But before I hop into like why I didn't want it and the bad side effects and all that, I want to talk about the pros because there are a lot of pros and it honestly took a large debate for me to decide whether or not I was going to get it taken out because the pros are so pro. So it lasts three years. For three entire years, you do not have to worry about getting pregnant at all. You are good to go, which is great because I am 19 and don't want a baby yet. And me and Dawn have talked about wanting to start thinking about having kids between like three and five years. So I was like, perfect, because then I'd be 21, three years into our marriage, we could talk about having kids. I just thought everything was gonna be perfect. You don't have to do something every single day. You don't have to remember anything. It's good to go. You can always check to make sure it's there. So unlike the IUD, you're not like stressed if it's like still there, is it in the right position? You can just feel it, good to go. Another pro is it is in your arm. They numb it up and just put it in. You can't feel anything. The insertion process is absolutely painless and it took about like two minutes to put in. It took longer to wait in the waiting room than it did to actually get it put in. So it's fast, it's easy, it's painless. You can see where it is. So many pros, right? Okay, moving on to the cons. <laughs> so there's a lot of different cons and honestly, I'm gonna look up what all the side effects of Nexplanon are, which with any birth control, you always have a chance of getting some bad side effects. So here's some of the common side effects. Mood swings, weight gain, headaches, acne, depressed mood, irregular bleeding. I feel like that kind of goes with any birth control, but the thing is, you can't just switch if you have it. You have to get it like surgically taken out. And before I got it in, I watched a ton of people's videos. Some people had it in the whole three years and it was completely fine. Some people had like one bad side effect, but it didn't affect them that much. So they just kept it in anyway. But me and my experience, let's just talk about it. So I got it in and I have videos of me getting it in. It bruised a little bit, but it wasn't any crazy bruising or anything. And I was having a really stressful month 
to begin with it was December which means Christmas and I was getting married in the one month and a bunch of family was in town it was my first Christmas like with having basically in-laws so I had to go back and forth from my house to their house and it was just a lot and it was stressful but I think it made it a thousand times worse because I had terrible mood swings and like my brain was like stop and then my body was like keep going <laughs> if that makes any sense i also started experiencing some spotting it wasn't like every day and it was like just a tiny tiny little bit of blood but it was enough to be a little bit inconvenient um and then i proceeded to have two periods in the matter of three weeks so this is what made me so nervous because my wedding was january 17th and based on like the pattern of having every two weeks i was going to start it during the week of my wedding and honeymoon i was just freaking out i was super scared but i ended up not not having period at all and then it went away and I didn't get it back until April so I literally had January February March three months with no period which was honestly amazing but also I mean that can be a pro for some people but I thought it was a pro for me but it ended up kind of being a con because I was scared I was gonna be pregnant and I know like I have this I can't be pregnant like I mean I could there's always a chance but most likely I'm not but it's like I haven't had a period in so long what if I am pregnant so then I ended up taking pregnancy tests and obviously they all came out negative but it was just like a little bit stressful for me but I had thought that like the mood swings had gone away and my only side effect was not having a period but then April came around and boy oh boy was I wrong so I had a period and it was like four days long and it was like horrible because I hadn't had one in so long so I was having terrible cramping and then two weeks later I had another one like four days and then two weeks later I had another one like three days and two weeks later I had not so you see the pattern I started having my period every two weeks which is not fun you should only have them once a month at least I knew I wasn't pregnant and then um, honestly, the bleeding wasn't even really that much that affected me because, yes, it's annoying and it's inconvenient, but they were really short and quick and pretty light, so, like, that didn't really bother me that much. What really, really got to me is when I realized that I had been having really bad mood swings and maybe even a little bit of, like, depression because of this. It was just really bad, and mixed with the mood swings and quarantine was not good. I was stuck in my head house which is already making me sad and then I have this thing being like you're really sad out of nowhere just start crying cry myself to sleep like multiple nights a week I feel so bad for Don he was such a trooper and he understood and he was he's the best husband ever but I it just like my mood was so affected and I hadn't realized it until this point when it had gotten like really bad I would constantly be like snapping like just out of nowhere getting super frustrated super mad for no reason like my mind was like we are not mad and my body was like we're furious i remember one time i was walking outside i tripped on a step into my garage and i just like threw everything on the ground and started crying i ran inside ran in my bed and just cried for like an hour out of nowhere like what that's not normal i'm usually a very happy positive fun person and this was making me like depressed all the time and just like hating life for no reason like I was getting so insecure about myself seeing life as just terrible and life was out to get me and this was not me and I'd go from being like so super happy motivated to the next day being like so depressed and so I was just done what I realized was it's not worth being on this easy birth control if it's going to make my life hard and make people around me their lives hard because I'm all emotional all the time so that's kind of what made me want to get it out and so I did. I made my appointment a couple weeks ago and I just went and got it taken out today. And I'm honestly like, I already feel like a weight has been like lifted off of me. And I just wanna throw out a disclaimer. I should've threw this in the beginning, but no body is the same. Every single woman is gonna have a different experience with every different type of birth control i mean there are like a hundred different brands of the pill each one of them have different effects on different people each type of birth control is different for everyone so although this didn't really work out for me and it did in the beginning and now it did not work out doesn't mean that it won't work out for you or it doesn't mean that you'll have a great experience either because everyone is completely different so yeah that is my full experience one more thing that i have to talk about is what birth control am i going to be on now well we're actually going to start track no, i'm kidding 
I'm just gonna get on the pill and originally that was the whole reason that I got this was because I was so scared I'm going to miss a pill but the more I thought about it it's like if it's really important to me to not get pregnant I'm going to take that pill every day I can set a reminder on my phone so that's my story. That is my next Nexplanon experience. And now I'm going to be on the pill and hopefully that'll be all good and not have as many bad symptoms. Um, once I'm on that for like six months, I'll probably do an update with that birth control. So stay tuned. But yeah, Nexplanon, had it for almost seven months, decided it was not for me. Yeah, comment down below what kind of birth control you're on if you're comfortable talking about it what what works for you what doesn't work for you and let's just have a good like bonding experience in the comments so i'm not the only one exposing my life thank you <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed if you did and you enjoyed me in this video then hit that subscribe button it would mean the world turn on those post notifications check out that new merch i just dropped and i'll see you guys in the next one bye my